Hey, you guys. So I'm back with another message from the Lord. I have several I need to record. I know I told you guys the next couple of messages were going to be based upon numbers. Um, and so I'm going to try to get them recorded so I can get them out. i um, been ripping around doing errands. Um, but I have wrote down what he wanted me to say so I can remember. But this first number that he showed me, he showed me 45, 45 twice. And that particular number in the strong concordance means anchor. And God wants me to come tell his children. Yes, 45 in the strong concordance means an, an anchor. God wants me to tell, come and tell his children to stay anchored in him. Stay anchored in the Lord. Um, in this time and this hour, we're going to see a lot of things exposed. We are going to see a lot of truth come out about people um, and about things. And it can be very triggering, y'all, to the point to where it can cause people to want to retreat back and go back to old ways or to start doing things that um is outside of the will of god all because of um the hurt and the pain and stuff and what a lot of people are going to see and experience because it's like i told you guys in a video before it's very hurtful to see um and find out about how um, people betray you how people are have lied to you and lie on you like all this stuff is going to be revealed during this season during this hour but um god took me to hebrews chapter six um and i'm gonna read verse 16 through 20 and it reads now when people take an oath they call on someone greater than themselves to hold them to it and without any question that oath is binding god also bound himself with an oath so that who so that those who receive the promise could be perfectly sure that he will never change his mind so god has given both his promise and his oath these two things are unchangeable because it is impossible for god to lie therefore we therefore we who have fled to him for refuge can have great confidence as we hold to hope that lies before us. The hope is a strong and trust, trustworthy anchor for our, for our souls. It leads us through the curtain into God's inner sanctuary. Jesus has already gone in there for us. He has become our great, our great, or he has become our internal high priest in the order of Mexico. Melzadek. You guys stay anchored. Okay, I'm gonna read verse 19 again because verse 19 was a keeper verse. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. We need to keep our hope and our faith in God, y'all. That's why I said we have to stay anchored in God. Because we are going to see a lot of things. God is a man that he cannot lie. So whatever he say it's going to happen. His word never returned to him void. We just going to have to stay anchored in him. I know a lot of people are, like I said, are getting, probably getting discouraged. A lot of people are going to be discouraged from what are the things that they're about to see. Some of the things that are about to be exposed. Because I'm telling y'all guys in this season that a lot of things that people thought was of God is they're going to find out is not going to be of God. And what, what they thought was of God is really not of God. Um, and I can contest to this, like a lot of things that God has been telling me to speak and warn. Um, even like one, even like a year or a year or two ago, where people thought it was funny, where people thought I was crazy, it's starting to manifest in this season during this hour because this is the time of um, judgment. Um, and um, y'all, this is not the time to be around here and not being about your father's business this is not time to um get caught up in things that is not of god so i'm telling you guys stay prayed up do what you're supposed to be doing keep your trust your hope your faith in god stay anchored in him um and 
so you can keep the faith so you can stay confident on what he says um because surely a lot of this stuff is coming to pass about what he's saying about judgment and surely a lot of things that he promised his children of how he's going to take care of them is going to come to pass too as well um y'all when i'm telling y'all i am a living witness i am a living witness i am starting to see what god has been speaking to me years ago i am starting to see now what god has told me to write on paper years ago to manifest now all right so um stay anchored in the lord keep your hope and your faith in the lord um he is going to see you through he's going he's going to he's going to see you through he's going to do what he says what he says he's going to do don't get discouraged y'all when y'all start seeing these people or seeing things be exposed to you don't remove your anchor in him still stay anchored in him um god is telling a lot god is exposing a lot of these things so his children can be set free god is exposing a lot of these things because um it's a part of people's judgment and this is also a part of um, people's recompense too as well a lot of people are going to be set free and this is going to be their recompense because a lot of people went around and did things right to try to destroy people's character to try to ruin their careers to try to ruin their platforms and stuff like that when they was really actually trying to do the will of the father so y'all we're going to see a lot of things but don't get discouraged. Stay encouraged. Stay angered in God. And remember that whatever he told you that he was going to do for you in this season and this hour, he shall do. All right. So I love you guys. I pray that you all have an amazing day. And I will chat with you all later.